feeling down just because for my preference sake if it was a first timer if you're a first timer playing it keep the same order it's much more easier to deal with but for me ooh, ooh, let me put that back up but for me tilling because i'm not gonna do a lot of mining in the beginning so um and then we have stockpiles this is where you would put your stockpiles of items if you're not going to use barrels you would dedicate certain areas on the map like i only want stone here i only want wheat here it does not stack in in groups you each square each one of these squares is a item so if you say i don't i want to stack uh, wheat here okay let's just do, let me show you for example if we want to stack wheat here okay they're only gonna put 4 8 12 16 16 wheat that's it okay <laughs> kind of important that you think about how your layout's gonna be okay so you have ITEs you can you can make a stockpile for an armor weapons etc 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 zones is basically where let me get rid of this zones are basically where what categorizes buildings you don't actually build you actually don't have a building you have to build the walls and the roof around you but uh, like I told you before, you're gonna have like, a, for example, bakery and kitchen are two different zones, two different things, two different items, or uh, different items go in there. So, oh by the way, this is all. If you ever see this button, it's always the back button. And of course, your mouse moves around like that. And finally, last but this is in least is the um, building menu. So we have walls. We can do. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do everything quickly as possible because I'm probably going to have to end this in this video and then start a new video so I don't waste a lot of time. Uh, we got log walls, we've got wooden walls. You can open stone walls, wood walls. I hope they put in more variety, um, but they may they may not. Decorative walls, and I'll explain to you very in, in, here or quickly about. Uh, wow, there's a round. I didn't know there's one right there. I'll be damned. Stone floor, wooden floor. These are kind of complicated. I still don't understand them. <laughs> a wheat wall? Really? Bone wall. Oof. And a mud wall. Super. Okay. Roofs. You can put roofs on. Roofs are very, very hard, but they're easy to get by. Uh, planting. This is how you would plant things. Now, I'm going to make this clear to you. If you look at... We'll use wheat. It says plain wheat. Then in the green it says wheat, and then on the bottom it says hummus on green. But if you go over to here, it says plant cactus seedling, cactus fruit, hummus on seed, or hummus on seed, or on seed, on sand. Sorry. That means you cannot plant this on the grass. You have to plant it in the sand. So you gotta be very close. Like this one, you have to plant in snow, sand, grass grass crack <coughs> excuse me here's one jungle this is the reason why i've never had been able to get apple or bananas so we kind of cool snow cherry cherry trees um, in snow of course so that's pretty cool uh the rest of it is utilities this is the basically the items that you would build to um to use like uh, for example ladders you could make a ladder if you wanted to or you can go and use single block wood if you wanted to. Uh, but the first thing that you would probably build is a carpenter bench, wood dig teller, and we'll talk about all that in a minute. I'm sorry, I'm, sne I'm sniffling. It's been a long day. And it's, it's really late. Uh, roads, you can make roads. Pretty simple. You just highlight where you want it, and they'll put it. But now, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you something really neat. Like, uh, they will go and chop down trees automatically to build this road, okay? Because it is made out of wood. But let's say you didn't want that. You just hit cancel and then highlight that area and it'll go away. Alright? So just now you know how to cancel stuff. Furniture, this is kind of important and I'll explain that in a minute. Decorations, outside, inside. I'm going through this because you'll be able to go through it too. Buildings. You can build a pig farm, a cow farm, now uh, a sheep farm. Now, why am I telling you this? Be in this is not, this. I haven't messed with this one yet, the mine shaft one. I really want to try it, but I'm kind of afraid to. In my other one, I just had discovered gold. I 
think. It was gold or silver? One of two. Um, but the, that's basically how you get animal farms going. And then barrels or containers. This is how you. This is where you would say, "I want you to make this barrel," and then they would make the barrel for you. Remember, you can only hold ten items per barrel. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Now, the hard part to explain to everybody is happiness. If you uh, if you just put the mouse, mouse your mouse cruiser over the villagers or the citizens tab. You'll see citizens' average happiness is 35. Needed 22 to have another vi another citizen or villager come to your town or come to your place. So if my happiness drops below 15 and I have an extra room for a villager, they're not going to come until my happiness hits 22. Okay? And then if you want to go look at individuals, you can see that everybody's happiness should be at 35 right now. Which it is. Okay? And you can look at everyone's individual stats as well. Tur turns to eat, uh, turns to sleep. This will dictate how many time, how much time it takes for them to sleep, how much time it takes for them before they go and eat. So I think that's kind of important. Happiness is the major thing here to keep your villagers happy. You can get lots of stuff done. Now, the reason why I tell you this is because indoor decorations, outdoor decorations. Uh, signage actually believe it or not and the badgers actually produce happiness furniture putting furniture in your house or houses or doors or windows or beds for example to further them to sleep in of course makes them happy building roads makes them happy makes them go faster uh, walls if you look at the stone there's different types of color stone different things on the stones building walls with this will also make them happy i kept my happiness at 98 if my happiness ever dropped it was because i got i i had more uh, citizens come in or i had a hero come in or i had someone come in to drop that happiness but the way i do it is i build my decorations in certain ways so that no matter what there's always something there to, for them to look at so they're always happy so yeah, happiness kind of important. So let's take a look at the map. So this is the higher rain area. Now I don't want this. So how do I get rid of that? Flatten box. There we go. So as you can see, the higher we go up, I leave this on so I can see what I'm digging. And I like the grid form here because I want to be able to see the height. So like right now, anything below this is not couldn't be stoned or couldn't be gathered. Excuse me, couldn't be gathered. But anything, you know, you can keep going down. And you can go, uh, you can go as far as this point. And the reason why is because you haven't dug that far. So there you go. All right, let's take a look. We got snow regular I know I'm going really fast here what the hell is that that is not a palm tree that is not a palm tree I don't know what the hell oh yellow snake crab okay neat okay all right regular forest there's a patch of jungle in here with some froggies really can't mess with now we have average you have natural enemies on the on the map and then you have your you know your average sieges that happen damn there's not really a lot of room in this map it's froggy right there I mean I could if I wanted to I could tear this down but I don't know that's a lot of work in the beginning if you have like 50 people it'd be easy a really nice big area right here but see it's surrounded by mountains so that's the problem that's the problem my people are right here and there's a well there's water right here now your people can't swim so they'll drown so you have to actually build a bridge if you want to get on this side there's a mountain terrain all the way up here so we could get across there if we had to really don't see any enemies anywhere. What the hell's that right there? A 
it's a bird healthy okay it's a bird okay because we have to remember the game's pause so hmm I want to be able to expand out very easily oh the music is competitive is repetitive there's only two music files right now so get used to that there's a jungle area right here we could plant apples if we wanted to, or bananas if we wanted to hmm. <laughs> well this uh, I don't want to move my people too much as you move them too much then they don't have proper gear on they'll, they'll die now these little bastards right here called carnivious plants they actually damage your um, your villa, your citizen, so you want to be careful of that, but I could build, I could rip this apart, this is, this wouldn't take very long, oh my god, maybe it will, Jesus, hmm, hmm. yeah, I, I guess we'll start here, so, um, let's get the orders out, and then I'll, I think I'll end the episode, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to harvest wheat, Wheat's kind of like the essential thing. Now, uh, I'll teach you a trick that a lot of people don't tell you in the beginning of the game. If you click on something, like say for harvest, for gathering, or harvest, it'll be up here, okay? This is like your announcement area. But if you hold down shift, you can actually not worry about it disappearing. So I, I, hold, I held down shift and I was able to do those too. But if I do this, see it disappears, okay? So get used to holding shift because it does everything shift is the man so alright now what I'm doing is I'm actually gathering wheat which we're not going to be able to gather very much it's not good I'm sending my people out just a little too far for the likes of it to be honest with you yeah, we're really too far out until we had some actual uh, armor. There's one right there. I think that's all of it. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and harvest all of those trees. Now, the way I did that is I just clicked on the map, held down the shift, and you can, you can do it without shift as well. But I hold down shift so that the gathering harvest icon doesn't go away. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Must be up in the mountains. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Alright, I can't let them go over there because that's probably dangerous territory. Alright, we got that done. And you don't want to give them too many commands too early. But we got things that's got to get done. Again, holding down shift and moving, moving the moving the button here. Okay, stockpiles. Nope, not there. Stockpiles. There we go. All right. Raw material would be stone. Um, let's put the stone right here for now because we're gonna need stone. And let's go ahead and get some trees. Actually, we need to plant trees first. That would probably be an important part. Because, okay, if you have regular, you have planted trees, they won't, you, they'll use, they'll reuse the planted trees to plant over and over and over and over. But if you tell them to cut these down, they will not replant, okay? So kind of important you know that. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to go make three. Let's do that many. That's telling. Okay, that's a lot of orders right there. So let's unpause the game and let them go to work. They're gonna go. Their first priority. Okay, first priority should be gathering. Okay. Now I'm actually gonna pause the game real quick because I just remembered that we need to make a raw spot for storage. So we'll make. Uh, let's not do that right there. By the way, if you ever have any problems or anything, if you right-click the map, you can get an option. Uh, like, for example, I can right-click on this, and it'll say Manage Stockpile, where I can change it, where I can make it only bring in this amount of items. Like, for example, I only want them to bring me stone in this one, so they'll only bring me stone. Or I don't want them to bring me stone, so I'll exit off. 
okay? Kind of important. People people don't really tell you that in the very beginning. I'll explain this in just a second. Alright, so what do we do here? I guess we really don't have a choice. We'll just go ahead and... That might be enough. We'll go ahead and let them go. Alright, so for example, the... Um, the people are going to go out, and originally, I did not have a stockpile, okay? So, those people weren't going to be needed. The AI is only going to, sh is only going to work to your advantage. So, if the, if you tell the AI, I want this tilted and this tilted, and then I want this cut, it's going to go in that order. So, the first order was harvesting. So, you always want to make sure you're watching your announcements, just in case there's an attack on something. Like I said, this damn thing's going to always going to flip so I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for our people to come back. They're harvesting, which is great. There is a black snake man, which is not good. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't come over here, please. Don't come over here. <laughs> go away, go away, go away, go away. You will kill one of my people. Alright, so... Now they've done that. Now they're going to till. And they'll individually do it. Now this is what I like to do. Um, where is it at? Personal room. Okay, we have 11 people. And you have to have a 3x3 three three cell for people to sleep in. Whoops. Screwed that up, didn't I? Alright. Yeah, let's go up one. I gotta get rid of that. That's gonna be annoying as hell. And I can't remember how to do it. There's some way I can't remember. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so now they're gonna go and they're gonna go and gather all this stuff. Keep your ass over there, black snake guy. And as you see, they're going to be gathering the heart. They're going to be gathering the wheat here. That's the that's the raw stuff. Let me do this real quick. Giving them their personal living space in the beginning of the game will help you out dramatically in happiness. Okay, I can't explain that enough. See, she wouldn't sleep. One, two, three. This will keep their happiness up to a good par, at least. Yes, it does take up a lot of space. So I was kind of hoping they would already have cut most of this down. But... Story of my life. Disappointment. And you can... You can have them where it's on the inside, like this. So you got 4, 8, 9, 10... And 11. Sorry. Alright, so they're going to be sleeping. And if you noticed, the happiness has now hit 16. Alright, so they're pretty much done with the, you know, they're, they're like, okay, what now? Because we're kind of getting pissy here. Prepared food is actually apples, pears, and all that kind of stuff. So we're actually going to do this. Because there's a whole bunch of apples and pears that I need them to collect. Now... I'm going to take my hand off the keyboard because you don't need to do any more orders. Don't tell them to do anything else. The reason why is... Uh-oh, what the hell is this? Froggy dies. What? When the hell that happened? God dang it, Froggy. By the way, they will walk over mountain areas to get to their location. So like this chick right here. She is... Emma, Debus, whatever. She's walking over the mountain to get to the stuff. So, we just need to let them do their thing. Now, here's what I like to do, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, this is kind of... You can speed it up to where they'll actually run and go through. Because of play through, we need to kind of have them at a good speed. So, they're sitting on speed 5 right now. But, it won't affect their happiness because over it's over time. It's 
over time that they that their happiness goes down so like it's four times the amount of time right now so they're gonna four times the amount of unhappiness so you pay the price but it does help out in the long run because these guys will basically walk over get their food what what yeah! no you died oh no 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 this is what I was talking about god dang it who died where where she supposedly died right here. Where? God dang it, Froggy Man. I'm gonna have to get these guys equipped before we even do anything. Where'd she die at? I bet she had the ghost. You know, ugh. Damn it. They're walking across that, that mountain. That's what's got, catching them. That's where they're doing it. They're catching them right there. Alright. So well, let's do this. Damn it. Let's cut a mountain path through here. I'll get over here and they'll dig through this. Oh, so loud. We died. Froggy died. Alright, now. Now they'll walk through here instead of the freaking mountain. And the froggy won't be able to attack them. I'll kill them. I'm gonna kill every single froggy. Ugh. But now our happiness is down to two because somebody died. <sighs> happiness is going to be rough in the beginning. Sometimes it'll be a failure. I'll just be honest and clear about that. Alright, we got pine trees here. So... Let's build, let's do some pine trees right here. Alright guys. Let's turn down the speed a little bit. Now they're going to go out and they're going to go find pine. I don't know why. Why, 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 why? Why would you go out here? Why? What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Why are you fighting? Help him. Good job. Ah, uh, why? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We lost somebody. Oh god. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh god. Why? Why did they come way out here? We lost that many people. Oh no. No, she's gonna die. Oh, he made it. Hey, all right, good job. GG, GG. Oh, Jesus. Oh, why are you guys coming way out? This is this is the problem with the AI. God damn, this is the problem with the AI right here. There's trees right here they could easily detach from. Yet they're gonna go all the way the fucking across the map. Now we're down to six people. Wonderful. Six people and zero happiness. This is a total fucking bust right here. Let's kill this off so they can get their asses back over here. And look how quickly they ate through the food. Fat asses. And I'm leaving the bones and shit there so, so that maybe the ghost will... Look at that. Stink clouds everywhere. I'm hoping this will turn into a, a ghost and they'll kill... Why? Why did you go over there? <sighs> We're gonna be down another. We're down three people. We're done. God dang it. I can't have a mixed map. <sighs> That's it. GG. Game over. <sighs> I am so stupid. I'll come back with a new map. Bye.